Andrea Bocelli Omri OMDSM is an Italian opera tenor and multi-instrumentalist. He was diagnosed with congenital glaucoma at five months old, and became completely blind at age 12, following a football accident. After performing evenings in piano bars and competing in local singing contests, Bocelli signed his first recording contract with the Sugar Music label. He rose to fame in 1994, winning the preliminary round of the 44th Sanremo Music Festival performing Miserere, with the highest marks ever recorded in the newcomers section. Since 1982, Bocelli has recorded 15 solo studio albums of both pop and classical music, three greatest hits albums, and nine complete operas, selling over 75 million records worldwide. He has had success as a crossover performer, bringing classical music to the top of international pop charts. His first compilation album, Romanza, is one of the best-selling albums of all time, while Sacred Arias is the biggest-selling classical album by any solo artist in history. My Christmas was the best-selling holiday album of 2009 and one of the best-selling holiday albums in the United States. The 2019 album C debuted at number one on the UK Albums Chart and US Billboard 200, becoming Bocelli's first number one album in both countries. His song, Conti Partiro, included on his second album Bocelli, is one of the best-selling singles of all time. The track was licensed to feature in a series of television commercials for Tim in the late 1990s, which eventually became very popular in Italy. In 1998, Bocelli was named one of People magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People. He duetted with Celine Dion on the song The Prayer for the animated film Quest for Camelot, which won the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song and was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Original Song. In 1999, he was nominated for Best New Artist at the Grammy Awards. He captured a listing in the Guinness Book of World Records with the release of his classical album Sacred Arias, as he simultaneously held the top three positions on the U.S. classical albums charts. Bocelli was made a Grand Officer of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic in 2006 and was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on 2 March 2010 for his contribution to live theater. Singer Celine Dion has said that, if God would have a singing voice, he must sound a lot like Andrea Bocelli, and record producer David Foster has often described Bocelli's voice as the most beautiful in the world. Early life Bocelli was born to Alessandro and Edie Bocelli on September 22, 1958. Doctors advised the couple to abort him, as they predicted that the child would be born with a disability. It was evident at birth that Bocelli had numerous problems with his sight, and was eventually diagnosed with congenital glaucoma. He stated that his mother's decision to give birth to him and overrule the doctor's advice was the inspiration for him to oppose abortion. Bocelli grew up on his family's farm where they sold farm machinery and made wine in the small village of La Sturza, our frazione of Lahartico, Tuscany, Italy, about 40 kilometers south of Pisa. His mother and younger brother Alberto still live in the family home. His father died in 2000. Bocelli showed a great passion for music as a young boy. His mother has said that music was the only thing that would comfort him. He started piano lessons at age six and later learned to play the flute, saxophone, trumpet, trombone, guitar, and drums. His nanny Oriana gave him the first record of Franco Corelli, and he began to show interest in pursuing the career of a tenor. By age seven, he was able to recognize the famous voices of the time and tried to emulate the great singers. At age 12, Bocelli lost his sight completely following an accident during a football game. He was hit in the eye playing goalkeeper during a match and suffered a brain hemorrhage. Doctors resorted to leeches in a last-ditch effort to save his sight, but they were unsuccessful and he remained blind. Bocelli also spent time singing during his childhood. He gave his first concert in a small village not far from where he was born. He won his first song competition at age 14 with O Sol Mio at the Margarita d'Oro in Viareggio. He finished secondary school in 1980 and then studied law at the University of Pisa. To earn money, he performed evenings in piano bars, and it was there that he met his future wife Enrica in 1987. He completed law school and spent one year as a court-appointed lawyer. Career 1992-94, Sanremo and Ilmer Calmo della Serra in 1992, Italian rock star Zucchero held auditions for tenors to make a demo tape of his song, Miserere, to send to Italian tenor Luciano Pavarotti. After hearing Bocelli on tape, Pavarotti urged Zucchero to use Bocelli instead of him. Zucchero eventually persuaded Pavarotti to record the song with Bocelli, and it became a hit throughout Europe. In Zucchero's European concert tour in 1993, Bocelli accompanied him to sing the duet, and he was also given solo sets in the concerts, singing Ness and Dorma from Giacomo Puccini's opera Turandot. Bocelli signed with the Sugar Music label in Milan after Caterina Caselli heard Bocelli sing Miserere and Ness and Dorma at a birthday party for Zucchero. In December, Bocelli entered the preliminary round of the Sanremo Music Festival in the category of Giovanni, performing Miserere. He won the preliminary competition with the highest marks ever recorded in the newcomers section. On the 28th of December, he debuted in the classical world in a concert at the Teatro Romolo Valley in Reggio Emilia. In February 1994, 
he entered the main Sanremo festival competition with Il Mare Calmo della Serra, and he won the newcomer section, again with a record score. Following his win, Bocelli released his debut album of the same name in April, and it entered the Italian top 10, being certified platinum within weeks. In May 1994, he toured with pop singer Gerardina Trovato. In September, he sang at Pavarotti's annual charity gala concert, Pavarotti International in Modena, where he sang Ruggiero Leoncavallo's Matinata and sang a duet with Pavarotti, Maurizio Morant's Notte e Piscator. In September, he made his opera debut as Macduff in Verdi's Macbeth at the Teatro Verdi in Pisa. Bocelli had been an agnostic, but around 1994, partly as a result of immersing himself in the works of Russian author Leo Tolstoy, he returned to the practice of the Catholic faith. He performed the hymn, Addis Fidels, in Rome before Pope John Paul II in St. Peter's Basilica at Christmas. 1995-97, Bocelli and Romanza as winner of the newcomers section at the 1994 Sanremo Festival, Bocelli was invited to return the following year. He entered the main competition with Conti Partiro and finished in fourth place. The song was included on his second album, Bocelli, produced by Mauro Malavasi and released in November 1995. In Belgium, Conti Partiro became the best-selling single of all time. His third album, Viaggio Italiano, was released in Italy in 1996. He was invited to sing a duet with English soprano Sarah Brightman at the final bout of German boxer Henry Mask. Brightman approached Bocelli after she heard him singing Conti Partiro whilst she was dining in a restaurant. Changing the title lyric of the song to Time to Say Goodbye, they re recorded it as a duet with members of the London Symphony Orchestra and sang it as a farewell for Mask. The single debuted atop the German charts, where it stayed for 14 weeks. With sales nearing 3 million copies and a sextuple platinum award, Time to Say Goodbye, eclipsed the previous best-selling single by more than one million copies. He topped the Spanish singles chart in 1996 with a duet with Marta Sanchez, Vivo Por Ella, the Spanish version of Vivo Per Le, recorded with Georgia for his 1997 compilation album, Romanza. He also recorded a Portuguese version of the song with Brazilian singer Sandy. The same year, Bocelli recorded Je Vis Por Elle, the French version of Vivo Per Le, as a duet with French singer Hélène Sergara. Released in December 1997, the song became a hit in Belgium and France, where it reached number one on the charts. To date, it is the best-selling single for Sergara, and the second for Bocelli after Time to Say Goodbye. On the 3rd of March, he appeared in Hamburg, Germany, with Sarah Brightman to receive the Echo Music Award for Best Single of the Year. In the summer of 1997, he gave 22 open-air concerts in Germany, and an indoor concert in Oberhausen on 31 August. In September, he performed in concert at the Piazza dei Cavalieri in Pisa for the home video A Night in Tuscany with guests Nuccia Fossile, Sarah Brightman and Zucchero. The concert was also Bocelli's first concert to air on PBS part of the In the Spotlight series. It also marked as Bocelli's debut to the American audiences. On 14 September, in Munich, Germany, he received an Echo Classic Bestseller of the Year award for his album, Viaggio Italiano. Back in Italy in Bologna on 27 September, he sang at the International Eucharistic Congress. On 19 October, he sang at the Tele Food Benefit concert held in the Vatican City to raise awareness about world hunger. On 25 October, he received a Bambi Award in the classic category in Cologne, Germany. 1998-99, Aria, the opera album, Sonio and Sacred Arias Bocelli made his debut in a major operatic role in 1998 when he played Rodolfo in a production of La Boheme at the Teatro Comunale in Cagliari from 18 to 25 February. His fifth album Aria, the opera album was released in March. On 19 April, Bocelli made his United States debut with a concert at the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington, D.C., followed the next day by a reception at the White House with then U.S. President Bill Clinton. On 5 May, he appeared in Monte Carlo, winning two World Music Awards, one in the category Best Italian Singer and one for Best Classical Interpretation. He was also named one of People magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People of 1998. From June to August, he toured North and South America. In September, he received his second Echo Classic Award, this time for best-selling classical album with Aria, the opera album. On Thanksgiving Eve, Bocelli was a guest on Celine Dion's television special These Are Special Times in which he joined Dion to sing, The Prayer, and he also sang, Ave Maria, solo. The duet was included on Dion's album These Are Special Times and was reissued with the DVD of the TV special in 2007. The song also appeared on the Quest for Camelot soundtrack in 1998 and on Bocelli's album, Sonio, the following year. In the new year, he performed two concerts at the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas. At the 56th Golden Globe Awards held on 24 January, The Prayer won the Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song from the film Quest for Camelot. At the 41st Grammy Awards ceremony on 24 February, Bocelli was nominated for Best New Artist, which was won by Lauren Hill. Bocelli and Dion sang The Prayer at the ceremony.
The song was also nominated for an Academy Award for Best Original Song and performed by Bocelli and Dion at the ceremony held at the Los Angeles Music Center on 21 March. From 11 to 24 April, he toured the west coast of North America, from San Diego to Vancouver, with a final performance at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles. Actress Elizabeth Taylor stood by his side on the stage during the encore, while he sang The Prayer. At the invitation of Steven Spielberg, Bocelli sang in Los Angeles on 15 May before Bill Clinton at an event on behalf of the Democratic Party. At the end of May, he toured Portugal and Spain and sang with Portuguese Fardu singer Dulce Pontes. On 27 June, he took part in the Michael Jackson Benefit Concert for Suffering Children in Munich's Olympic Stadium. From 10 July to 27 August, he appeared in a guest role for seven performances of The Merry Widow at the Verona Arena. As the tenor Conte Andrea, he performed three arias, La Donna e Mobile, from Verdi's Rigoletto, two, Chem, High Presso Il Cour, from Franz Leas Daslan des Lechelns and, Libiamo N.E., Lieti Calici, from Verdi's La Traviata. On 10 September, together with soprano Daniela Desi and two Polish singers, he performed at the Great Theatre of Łódź in Poland. From 7 October to 19 November, he made his United States operatic debut in Jules Massenet's Werther at the Detroit Opera House with the Michigan Opera Theatre. He also performed at Rodeo Drive in Hollywood and gave further concerts in Detroit, Cleveland and Chicago, and made an appearance on Jay Leno's first installment of The Tonight Show. Then Mayor of New York City Rudy Giuliani gave him the Crystal Apple Award. His seventh album Sacred Arias, which contains exclusively sacred music, was released worldwide on 8 November, and two weeks later reached number one on the U.S. classic Billboard charts, making Bocelli the first vocalist to hold all top three places on the chart, with Aria, the opera album in second place, and Viaggio Italiano in third place. The album also included the hymn of the Holy Year 2000 which was chosen as the official version by the Vatican in October. To promote Sacred Arias, Bocelli recorded his second PBS concert at the Roman Church of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, in Rome, in 1999, singing most of the songs from the album. The special was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Classical Music Dance Program during the 52nd Primetime Emmy Awards. In Italy, Bocelli sang in Florence at a meeting of the center-left heads of state. Invited by Queen Elizabeth II, he performed at the annual Royal Variety Performance in Birmingham, UK, on 29 November. On 30 November, his book La Musica del Silenzio, an autobiographical novel, was released in Italy, and in 2017 it was turned into a movie as The Music of Silence, directed by Michael Radford. From 12 to 21 December, he performed six concerts in Barcelona, Strasbourg, Lisbon, Zagreb, Budapest and Messina, some of which were broadcast on local television. He also performed on German television, Wetten, Das, on the 11th of December and the Jose Carreras Gala in Leipzig on the 17th of December. On the 31st of December, he finished a marathon 24 concerts in 30 days, with a concert at the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum in New York, welcoming in the new millennium. 2001, Verdi and Cieli di Toscana at the 42nd Grammy Awards, Bocelli was nominated twice. The Prayer was nominated for Best Pop Collaboration with Vocals and for Best Male Pop Vocal Performance. Bocelli performed it with Dion at the ceremony. His World Tour 2000 started on 31 March. In May, his Sacred Arias album was voted Album of the Year by listeners of the classic FM radio station in the UK. His World Tour continued from 12 to 14 May with four concerts in Japan and South Korea. At the end of the UEFA European Football Championship, he performed with Valerie Gajev and René Fleming at a concert on the River Mars in Rotterdam. On 6 July, he performed at the Statue of Liberty in New York City for his third PBS special American Dream, Andrea Bocelli's Statue of Liberty concert. The concert was a dedication to his father, who died in the beginning of 2000. He was accompanied by the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra under the direction of maestro Stephen Mercurio with special guest soprano Anna Maria Martinez and a surprise appearance by Sarah Brightman to sing with Bocelli on Time to Say Goodbye. For the final encore, he dedicated Sonio to his late father. On 17 August, he performed in Giuseppe Verdi's Messa da Requiem at the Verona Arena in Rome. His seventh album, Verdi, was released on of September. In September, he performed three concerts in Australia. He received another Echo Classic Award for Best Seller of the Year for Sacred Arias. In November, his first complete opera recording, Le Boheme, was released. In December, he received another award in Germany, the Goldene Europa for Classical Music. In January 2001, Bocelli portrayed the main character in Mascani's opera Lamico Fritz at the Teatro Filarmonico in Verona and again performed the tenor part in Verdi's Requiem. On 19 March, the Requiem album was released with Bocelli as tenor. From the 22nd of March to the 6th of April, he toured North America accompanied by Cecilia Gastier and the Hartford Symphony Orchestra. On 17 June, he performed at the reopening of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. In July, he performed two concerts in Dublin with Anna Maria Martinez and the new Symphony Orchestra. 
at the Scuola Grande di San Rocco in Venice on the 4th of October. He presented his new album Cieli di Toscana and was recognized for having sold more than 40 million albums worldwide. In October, he opened the celebrations of the 200th anniversary of the birth of Sicilian opera composer Vincenzo Bellini in Catania. On the 28th of October, he sang Franz Schubert's Ellen's Dritter Gesang as a representative of the Roman Catholic faith during a memorial concert at Ground Zero in New York City for the victims of the September 11th attacks there. In November, he received the Platinum Europe Award for 1 million sales of the album Cieli di Toscana, and at the Italian Music Awards he was given a special award from the Federation of the Italian Music Industry for his merits as an ambassador of Italian music in the world. He performed seven more concerts in the U.S. accompanied by Anna Maria Martinez, and on the 23rd of December, he sang the Italian national anthem as well as works of Bellini and Verdi at the traditional Christmas concert in the Italian Senate, which was broadcast live on television for the first time. 2002-05, Sentimento and Andrea in Berlin on the 5th of February, he received a Golden Camera Award in the Music and Entertainment category. On the 6th of March, he received two World Music Awards in Monte Carlo, World Best Selling Classical Artist and Best Selling Italian Artist. On the 11th of March, he gave a concert for peace at the Basilica di San Marco a Venezia in Venice, accompanied by the orchestra of the Teatro La Fenice and conducted by Lauren Marzel. On the 15th of March, he took part in the opening of Walt Disney Studios Park in marne la vallee France. On the 7th of May, Bocelli and Tony Rennies received a Telegato Italian Television Award for the soundtrack of the series Quarry. On the 23rd of May he received the 2002 Classical Brit Award for Outstanding Contribution to Music. On the 27th of May, he performed at the Villa Madama in Rome in front of US President George W. Bush and Italian President Silvio Berlusconi. On the 28th of May, he took part in Pavarotti and Friends, charity concert in Modena in aid of Angola. In June he again toured the US, then on the 26th of July and the 3rd of August, he portrayed Lieutenant B.F. Pinkerton in Madama Butterfly at the 48th Puccini Festival in Torre del Lago. On the 14th of October, he and Lauren Marzel presented his new album Sentimento to a worldwide audience. Further presentations took place in Milan and New York, and the album was released on the 4th of November, selling over 2 million copies in 40 days. On the 24th of October, he started his Sentimento tour in Zurich which took in large arenas in several European and North American cities. In February 2003, Bocelli performed Madama Butterfly in an exclusive Monte Carlo concert, which was attended by Caroline, Princess of Hanover. In March for the first time he appeared as a producer, at the Sanremo Festival, where the young artists Alan Arti and Jacqueline Ferry sang for his new record label, Klaxong. In May his second complete opera, Tosca, was released. It did not attract unanimous praise, though. Andreas Dorschel notices, monochrome timbre, and, little dynamic variability, in Bocelli's performance, whatever is suffered by Cavaradossi minus torture for instance or the prospect of execution minus, Bocelli does not seem to register it, but goes on in the musical equivalent of stoic indifference. At a private benefit gala for the Royal National Institute of Blind People, Bocelli sang in front of the British royal family. A day later he received two awards for Sentimento at the 2003 Classical Brit Award held at the Royal Albert Hall in London, Best Selling Classical Album, and Album of the Year. On the 24th of May, he performed in a benefit concert for the ARPA Foundation for Film, Music and Art in the Piazza del Campo in Siena, with sopranos Maria Luigia Borsi and Lucia De Santi, baritone Su Kyung An, and violinist Ruth Rogers, accompanied by Marcello Rota and the orchestra Cheetah di Pisa. Three days later he was again invited to perform at Pavarotti and Friends, in Modena and sang a medley of Neapolitan songs together with Pavarotti. In June, he continued his Sentimento tour in Athens and Cyprus. In September, he took part in a concert for the Justice Ministers and Interior Ministers of the European Union at the Parco della Musica in Rome. He then resumed his tour, accompanied by Maria Luigia Borsi, Ruth Rogers and Marcello Rota. Bocelli won the Favourite Specialist Performer Award at the UK National Music Awards in October 2003. In November he once again toured in the United States, this time accompanied by Anna Maria Martinez, Callan Espirian and Stephen Mercurio. In December he gave his first concert in China and at the end of the month, sang Guno's Ave Maria at Pavarotti's wedding in Modena. In Bologna in January, he performed as Werther in four performances of the opera of the same name. In April and May, he toured Asia again, visiting Manila, Hong Kong and Singapore. In May, he took part in a concert at Circo Massimo in Rome organized by Quincy Jones to launch the We Are the Future project. In June, his third complete opera Il Trovatore was released. In July, he played the part of Mario Cavaradossi in Tosca at the 50th Puccini Festival in Torre del Lago, and he took part in the International Olympic Committee Global Campaign for the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens. In September, he performed his Once in a Lifetime tour in Australia with concerts in Sydney and Melbourne and one concert in Christchurch, New Zealand where he was joined on stage by New Zealand soprano Hayley Westenra. On 15 October, 
He performed at the People Conference Hall in Beijing, China, and on the 17th of October at the Great Hall in Shanghai. During early 2005, Bocelli was on tour, including performances in Madeira, Hungary, Norway, U.S., U.K., Italy, and Germany. He also appeared in Sesame Street singing "Time to Say Goodnight," a parody of "Time to Say Goodbye" as a lullaby to Elmo. On the 21st of March, he performed at the Music for Asia Benefit concert in Rome, televised on Italia One, in aid of the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake appeal. In June, he performed at the Deutsche Oper in Berlin. On the 2nd of July, he performed at the Paris concert as part of the Live Eight event. Also during the second part of the year, he performed in Croatia, Serbia, Italy, the U.S., Dubai, Switzerland, and finally in Scandinavia. On the 28th of August, he performed at the Final Festival held in Vainol, Wales, and organised by Welsh-based baritone Bryn Terfel. In December, his first contemporary music concert took place at a Lake Las Vegas Village Resort in Nevada, U.S., which was recorded for PBS and released as the Under the Desert Sky DVD. He also took part in the Royal Christmas Show, which took place in several cities in the U.S. in December. The album Werther was released in December 2006-07. Amor and Vivere, greatest hits on the 18th of February. He sang at the Toyota Center in Houston during the National Basketball Association's 2006 All-Star Weekend and broadcast live on the TNT cable television network. On the 26th of February, Bocelli sang "Because We Believe" from his Amor album in the Carnevale section of the closing ceremony of the Torino Olympics. He also began another tour with a concert at the Piazza di Castello in Turin. In March, he was honored by the Italian state with a Grande Ufficiale Italian Order of Merit, given to him by then President of the Italian Republic Carlo Azzolio Ciampi. The award was presented to him at the Sanremo Festival, where he performed a duet with American singer Christina Aguilera on the 4th of March. From the 31st of March to the 2nd of April, he took part in the Maggio Musicale in Florence, where he sang the Canto di Pace by Marco Tutino and the tenor part from Gioacchino Rossini's Messa di Gloria, and in Naples, where he took part in Rossini's Petite Messa Solennelle. In April 2006, he featured as a guest coach on American Idol, helping the finalists sing the week's theme songs, Greatest Love Songs. He also performed on that week's results show. American Idol runner-up Catherine McPhee performed at three of Bocelli's concerts in California from 9 to the 11th of June, singing duets of Somos Novios and The Prayer with Bocelli. They also performed on J. C. Penny Jam, the concert for America's kids, and recorded duet versions of Somos Novios for the resulting album. And also, Can't Help Falling in Love on the CD of the Under the Desert Sky DVD. In June, he sang the Italian duet version of Because We Believe, Arma, Credi e Vai, with Gianna Nannini at the Grossen Fan Party at the opening of the 2006 FIFA World Cup in Berlin in front of billions of worldwide television viewers. On the 1st of July 2007, Bocelli performed The Music of the Night from Andrew Lloyd Webber's The Phantom of the Opera in a special musicals medley during the concert for Diana at Wembley Stadium in London, England. Bocelli returned to his hometown for a concert at the newly created Teatro del Silenzio in La Hartico on the 5th of July 2007, with guest appearance by Kenny G, Heather Headley, Lang Lang, Eliza, Sarah Brightman, and Laura Pausini. The concert was later released as Vivere Live in Tuscany. In September, he debuted at the Avery Fisher Hall in New York with four concerts. October saw the release of the opera album of Ruggiero Leoncavallo's Pagliacci, with Bocelli singing the role of Canio. In November. He won the Best Italian Artist and World's Best Selling Classical Artist awards at the World Music Awards. In December, he finished his 2006 tour with more concerts in North America and Europe. Bocelli and Sarah Brightman's duet version of Conti Partiro was used in the 2007 film Blades of Glory as an ice skating song. K1 mixed martial arts fighter Yoshihiro Akiyama started using Conti Partiro as his ring entrance music. On the 8th of September. Bocelli sang an arrangement of Mozart's Ave Verum Corpus at the funeral of Luciano Pavarotti in Modena, Italy. On the 21st of October 2007, he sang Conti Partiro on the UK television series Strictly Come Dancing results show, and on the 30th of October, he sang The Prayer during an ITV special in audience with Celine Dion. The show was broadcast on the 23rd of December alongside fellow Italian singer Laura Pausini. He sang Viva during the 2007 Latin Grammy Awards. The song, originally released in 1997 as a duet in Italian between Bocelli and Italian singer-songwriter Trovato on Bocelli's Romanza, was also released in English on his 2007 album The Best of Andrea Bocelli, Vivere as Dare to Live. The album Vivere sold over three million copies. 2008, Incanto and Carmen. On the 20th of January 2008, Bocelli received the Italian TV Award Telegato in Platinum for Italian Music in the World in Rome. He sang La Voce del Silenzio, The Voice of Silence. And dare to live during the ceremony. To promote the album, he performed Canto della Terra at the Alan Titchmarsh show on the BBC in London on the 1st of February.
was interviewed by Fabio Fazio on the Italian talk show Che Tempo Che Fa on Rai 3 in Italy, and performed Canto della Terra, RT, and Besame Mucho from the album, as well as My Way on the 2nd of February, and made an appearance on the South Bank show in London, where he sang the French aria, Pour Mon Am, on the 3rd of February. Then on the 10th of February, he performed the prayer at the 50th Grammy Awards, held in Los Angeles, with Josh Groban in a tribute to Luciano Pavarotti, and sang Dare to Live with Heather Headley the following day on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. In April, he toured in Asia with performances in Tokyo, Taichung, and Seoul. On the 7th of May 2008, he sang at Steel Arania in Kositsa, Slovakia, in front of 8,000 people. Then on the 13th of May he sang at the Teatro del Muse, in Ancona, Italy, for a charity concert for Francesca Rava, NPH Italia Onlus, a foundation that helps poor and disabled children around the world. On the 23rd of May 2008, he sang the prayer with Catherine McPhee in a Las Vegas tribute concert for Canadian producer and songwriter David Foster. Bocelli later praised Filipina teenage singer Sharice, whom he first heard perform at that concert. On the 2nd of June 2008, he performed at the Piazza del Duomo, Milan in front of 80,000 people during a concert celebrating the anniversary of the Republic of Italy's formation. From 17 to the 28th of June, Bocelli played the role of Don Jose on stage, opposite Hungarian mezzo-soprano Ildiko Komlosi as Carmen, in Georges Bizet's opera at the Teatro dell'Opera di Roma, in Rome, for four nights. Bocelli released the complete opera recording of Carmen in Italy in the same year, which he recorded in 2005. Myung Wun Chung conducted the Orchestra Philharmonique de Radio France and the Chur de Radio France for the recording, and Welsh bass baritone Bryn Terfel was part of the ensemble. The recording was not released internationally until March 2010. Carmen, Duets and Arias, a single disc collection of some of the Arias and Duets of the recording, was also released in 2010. On 20 July, Bocelli held his third concert at the Teatro del Silenzio in La Hartico, his hometown. The concert was a tribute to the cinema of Italy. Its performers included Italian composer and musician Nicola Piovani, Italian ballet dancer Roberto Bolle, Israeli singer Noah, and Charisse. Then on 31 July, he performed at a concert in Vingus Park in Vilnius, Lithuania, in front of more than 18,000 people. Australian singer Tina Arena performed two duets with Bocelli, Canto della Terra, and the prayer at the closing stages of the concert. On the 7th of August 2008, he held a benefit concert at Medjugorje, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and was accompanied by the Czech National Symphony Orchestra. Then, during the rest of August, he was on tour in Australia and New Zealand for the third time. Tina Arena performed with him in all five concerts during the tour. On the 26th of September 2008, during the 2008 Veneto Festival, he held a concert in the Church of the Eremitani in Padova, Italy. He was accompanied by the Isolisti Venetia Orchestra, celebrating its 50th birthday and conducted by Claudio Shimon, and by the Wiener Singakademie Choir. The concert was a celebration of Giacomo Puccini's 150th birthday. On 10 and the 11th of October he performed at Petra, singing, Dare to Live, with Laura Pausini, as well as performing, E. Lucivan La Stelle, from Tosca. On the 19th of October, he sang, O Serdato, Namurato, and a duet of, Non ti scordar di me, with Cecilia Bartoli, both from the Incanto album, during the Echo Awards in Germany, and later presented the soprano with an Echo Award. On the 24th of October, he performed at Piazza del Plebiscito in Naples, as a tribute to the city, where he celebrated the Italian release of Incanto. Performing with him were flautist Andrea Griminelli, Italian pop singer Massimo Ranieri and soprano Cecilia Bartoli, with Stephen Mercurio conducting the Czech National Symphony Orchestra. On the 31st of October, he performed a solo version of The Prayer, as well as, because, a song from Incanto, Live on the Oprah Winfrey Show. On 21 and the 22nd of November Bocelli was amongst a quartet of soloists to sing Rossini's Petite Messa Solennelle, conducted by Placido Domingo, at the Washington National Opera in Washington, D.C. Bocelli sang twice in the piece and later the two tenors sang the Pearl Fishes duet, which would be the first aria they had ever sung together. On 25 and the 26th of November he starred alongside soprano Veronica Villaroyal in an opera in concert of Mascani's Cavalleria Rusticana at the Municipal Auditorium in San Antonio, Texas. He later held a concert at Atrio de la Catedral in Campeche, Mexico, on the 28th of November, where he sang songs from Incanto as well as some of his Spanish hits, including Besame Mucho, Somos Novios, Amapola and Porti Volare, the Spanish version of Conti Partiro. 2009, My Christmas, first holiday album on the 27th of May 2009, Bocelli sang Il Gladiator from the Gladiator soundtrack, followed by the UEFA Champions League anthem, which is based on Zadok the Priest by G.F. Hundle, during the opening ceremony of the 2009 UEFA Champions League final, in the Stadio Olimpico, in Rome. On 3 November, My Christmas, his first holiday album, produced by David Foster, was released and went on to become the best-selling holiday album of the year. The Andrea Bocelli and David Foster Christmas special, 
the PBS special of the album, first aired on Thanksgiving night in the United States, and continued to be broadcast in the United States and Canada throughout the month of December. In late November, the program was broadcast in Mexico and in the UK. It later aired, 15 and the 25th of December, on Italia 1, in Italy, the 19th of December, on TVE2 and TROS, in Spain and the Netherlands, and Christmas Eve, on VTM and RTL TVI, in Belgium and Luxembourg. On the 3rd of November, during the world premiere of Disney's A Christmas Carol, in Leicester Square, London, following the switching on of the annual Oxford Street and Regent Street Christmas lights, Bocelli led the St. Paul's Cathedral Choir, and more than 14,000 people across the capital, as they broke the official Guinness World Record for the biggest ever Christmas carol sing-along, singing, Silent Night. He completed his performance in Leicester Square with, God Bless Us Everyone, the closing song of the movie, which he provided the vocals for in English, Italian and Spanish. He returned to the United Kingdom, the 16th of December, for an appearance on The One Show, broadcast live by BBC One, and on The Alan Titchmarsh Show which aired the 18th of December, on ITV One. On the 21st of November, a segment of Lute Heute, a German tabloid program on ZDF, was about My Christmas and Bocelli's meeting in Rome with Pope Benedict XVI and 250 other artists, an event which was broadcast live earlier that day in Italy, by Rai Uno. Bocelli was also joined by the Piccolo Coro dell'Antoniano, in his home in Forte dei Marmi, where they sang, Caro Gesù Bambino, a song from My Christmas which was originally recorded by the choir in 1960. Rai Uno also broadcast the performance later that day, during the Zecchino d'Oro Festival. The following day, Bocelli was among Fabio Fazio's guests, on his popular Italian talk show, Che Tempo Che Fa, broadcast on Rai Tre. During the program Bocelli talked about his album and performed The Lord's Prayer, White Christmas, and Silent Night. It was also announced that Bocelli would return to the show on 20 December and give a live concert of My Christmas. Bocelli also took part in the annual 2009 Jose Carreras Gala, on 17 December, where he sang Addis Fidel's, before singing, White Christmas, with Jose Carreras for the very first time. This was broadcast live, by Das Erste, in Germany. He then returning to Italy, for a concert in the Upper Basilica of San Francesco de Sisi, on 19 December, which was broadcast directly after the Urbia Orbi blessing of Pope Benedict XVI, 25 December, on Rai Uno. In North America, Bocelli gave six concerts. On 28 November, he performed in the Bank Atlantic Center, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He later performed in the Air Canada Center, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, in the Isod Center, in East Rutherford, New Jersey, in the William Saroyan Theatre, in Fresno, California, in the MGM Grand, in Las Vegas, and finally in the Honda Center, in Anaheim, California, on 3, 5, 8, 12 and 13 December. His last three arena concerts alone grossed a total of over five, six million dollars, placing him third on Billboard Magazine's week's Hot Tours ranking, behind the Trans-Siberian Orchestra and Il Devo, who both held over five times more concerts worldwide, compared to Bocelli's three in the United States, explaining their better showings. In the United States, Bocelli made a number of high-profile TV appearances. He first performed White Christmas at the 83rd annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, broadcast live on NBC, the 26th of November. He performed the song again on the 30th of November during the Today Show Also Live. His appearance on the Oprah Winfrey Show during her holiday music extravaganza, where he sang, What Child Is This with Mary J. Blige, and later closed the show with Addis Fidel's, was also aired the same day, and was later rebroadcast on the 23rd of December. Bocelli also sang, Addis Fidel's, and was interviewed by Barbara Walters and Joy Bahar on The View, which aired the 2nd of December, on ABC. On the 8th of December, he performed Jingle Bells with the Muppets on The Jay Leno Show. He also performed a number of songs from the album, including The Christmas Song with Natalie Cole, during a dinner at David Foster's mansion in Malibu, which was featured on The Dr. Phil Show, on the 10th of December. Bocelli also performed White Christmas and Silent Night on the Larry King Live and Fox and Friends holiday specials, broadcast the 23rd of December on CNN and 19, 24 and the 25th of December on Fox News. In Brazil, following the success of the South American leg of the Encanto tour, where over 100,000 people attended his free concert at the Sao Paulo's Parque Independencia earlier in the year, it was announced that Bocelli would hold another open-air, entrance-free concert in Florianópolis on the 28th of December, where a crowd of about a million people was expected to attend. However, due to financial and political reasons, the concert was later cancelled on short notice, along with all the other events scheduled for Christmas in the city. 2010, Hollywood Walk of Fame and FIFA World Cup on 31 January 2010, during the 52nd Grammy Awards, Bocelli, Mary J. Blige and David Foster joined forces again, singing Bridge Over Troubled Water, as a tribute to the victims of that year's earthquake in Haiti. On 2 March, he was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his contribution to Live Theatre, at 7000 Hollywood Boulevard, in front of the Roosevelt Hotel. The previous day, Bocelli, along with David Foster, 
were honored by LA Italia Film, Fashion and Art Fest during a ceremony at the Grauman's Chinese Theater, in Hollywood, where the story behind The Voice, a documentary about Bocelli's life and career was shown. On 12 March, Bocelli made an appearance on Skavlan, in Oslo, Norway, to promote his upcoming Scandinavian tour, giving a rare interview to the show's host Frederick Skavlan, and later performing Volio Vivere Cosi, from his 2008 album Incanto, with Norwegian boys choir, Solvgutin. In April, he returned to Scandinavia for a concert in Telenor Arena in Bærum, Norway, on 8 April, a concert in Forum Copenhagen in Copenhagen, Denmark, on 9 April, and finally a concert in the Ericsson Globe, in Stockholm, Sweden, on the 11th of April. He was joined by Heather Headley and 120 musicians from the Stockholm Concert Orchestra, in all three concerts, and by Swedish mezzo-soprano Melena Ernman in his Swedish concert. On 30 April, Bocelli sang Nessun Dorma during the opening ceremony of the Expo 2010, in Shanghai, China. The following day, on 1 May, he held a concert, titled Charming China, at Shanghai Stadium. The concert was later broadcast by Shanghai TV, and by CCTV channels throughout mainland China. The two appearances coincided with Bocelli's Asian tour, consisting of a concert in Budokan, Tokyo, Japan, on 28 April, a concert in Jamsil Gymnasium, Seoul, South Korea, on 2 May, a concert in Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center, in Hong Kong, on 4 May, a concert in Taipei Arena, Taipei, Taiwan, on 6 May, and finally a free concert, organized by the YTL Corporation, at the Singapore Botanic Gardens, in Singapore, on 8 May, attended by over 12,000 people, picked via public ballot. The concert was later broadcast, in its entirety, by Channel News Asia, on 28 and 29 May, and by Octo, on 30 May, in Singapore. An orchid in the Botanic Gardens National Orchid Garden was also named after Bocelli in response to the concert. Australian pop singer Delta Goodrum performed again with Bocelli in all five concerts, after supporting him in his United States My Christmas 2009 winter tour. On 18 May, during the 2010 World Music Awards, Bocelli performed Un Amor Cosi Grande from his 2008 album, Incanto, and received his seventh World Music Award for Best Classical Artist. On 5 July, Bocelli gave a concert at the opening of the Khan Shatir Entertainment Center in Astana on the occasion of Kazakhstan's President Nursultan Nazarbayev's 70th birthday. On 9 July, Bocelli headlined that Celebrate Africa, the grand finale concert at the Coca-Cola Dome in Johannesburg, South Africa, to mark the end of the World Cup, two days before the final. On 13 July, Montenegrin Statehood Day, Bocelli gave a concert at the seaside resort of Sveti Stefan, in western Montenegro, to mark the golden jubilee of the Sveti Stefan Hotel. On 14 July, Bocelli gave a concert at the European Parliament's Espes Leopold, in Brussels, Belgium, during Rome in the Heart of the Future, an event hosted by the Vice President of the European Parliament for the Seventh Parliament, MEP, Roberta Angelilli. A screening of the film Homage to Rome, directed by Franco Zeffirelli, who was present during the event, and starring Bocelli, in his cinematographic debut, was shown prior to the special concert. On 25 July, Bocelli held the fifth and final edition of the Teatro del Silencio, in his hometown of La Hartico, Tuscany. Bocelli's guests included Spanish-Catalan tenor José Carreras, and Italian rock singer Zucchero. Sculptures by Swiss artist Kurt Lorenz Metzler, who attended the concert, were exhibited during this year's edition. Bocelli was also awarded the Pisano Doc, during the dress rehearsal for the concert, on 24 July, and received the 2010 Premio Lunesia Nel Mondo, during a private ceremony held on 21 July, for the musical literary quality of his songs. In September 2010, Bocelli held a concert at the Odeon of Heroes Atticus, in Athens, Greece. All proceeds were donated to help cure cancer. Bocelli also gave concerts in Cairo, Egypt, in front of the pyramids and the Great Sphinx of Giza, as well as a fundraising concert inside the Duomo di Milano to benefit victims of the 2010 Haiti earthquake. As part of the 2010 leg of the My Christmas Tour, Bocelli gave two concerts in the O2 Arena, in London, and the Manchester Arena, in Manchester, and a concert at the O2, in Dublin, in late November 2010. His sold-out concert at the O2 in London, was the most attended show in the venue's history, with 16,500 people attending the event. In early December, Bocelli gave six concerts in the United States. He performed in Madison Square Garden, in New York City, Prudential Center, in Newark, New Jersey, TD Garden, in Boston, Toyota Center, in Houston, Staples Center, in Los Angeles, and the MGM Grands Garden Arena, in the Las Vegas Strip. Bocelli also took part in the Christmas in Washington special on 12 December. On 19 December, Bocelli gave a concert, conducted by Claudio Shimon, in the Italian Senate. 2011, Metropolitan Opera Recital, and Central Park Concert in January, Bocelli gave three concerts in Germany. The concerts in Munich, Berlin, and Hamburg were all part of the Notte Illuminata tour, launched in Pisa, at the Teatro Verdi, December 2010. In February, 
Bocelli performed a recital on the stage of the Metropolitan Opera House as part of the tour. In late March, early April, as part of the 2011 Latin leg of his Incanto tour, Bocelli gave concerts in Buenos Aires, Bogota, and Panama City. In May 2011, Bocelli held five concerts in East and Southeast Asia, and was joined by New Zealand soprano Haley Westenra during the tour. He first gave a concert in Jakarta, Indonesia. Bocelli held two other concerts in Taipei, and two concerts in Beijing. In June and July, Bocelli gave two open-air concerts at historic sites, the first at Masada, in Israel, with all proceeds dedicated to support the residents of the Israeli regions of Galilee and Negev, and the second at Syracuse's Ancient Greek Theater, in Sicily, with all proceeds donated to the FIAM di Solidarietà organization, to raise awareness of issues concerning the poorest and most marginalized in Italy. Bocelli gave a free concert on 15 September, on the Great Lawn of Central Park in New York City. He was accompanied by the New York Philharmonic, conducted by its music director Alan Gilbert, and the Westminster Symphonic Choir. The concert was broadcast throughout the United States and Canada, by PBS, and in Italy, by Rai One. Concerto, One Night in Central Park, the live album and the DVD were released 15 November. On 25 September, Bocelli led songs of praise's 50th anniversary celebration, alongside Leanne Rimes and Catherine Jenkins. On 15 October, Bocelli performed again for Pope Benedict XVI and a crowd of 8,000 people in Vatican's audience hall. On 7 November, he gave an open-air free concert at Praca Rui Barbosa in Belo Horizonte, Brazil, to an audience of between 80,000 and 150,000 people. On 17 November, he performed at the Children in Need Rocks Manchester concert, gaining critical acclaim for receiving a standing ovation from a crowd of pop and indie music fans. 2012-2014, Romeo A. Juliet and Passione Bocelli played the role of Romeo in Charles Gounod's opera Romeo A. Juliet, at the Teatro Carlo Felice, for two performances in February 2012. He cancelled a third performance with pharyngitis after suffering vocal strain throughout. On the 22nd of April, Bocelli gave an open-air concert at Yerevan's Liberty Square, in Armenia, dedicated to the proclamation of Yerevan as the 2012 World Book Capital. He was accompanied by the Armenian Philharmonic Orchestra conducted by Marcelo Rota. On the 19th of November, he performed for Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, at the Royal Albert Hall, during the 100th anniversary of the Royal Variety performance. A new studio album entitled Passionate, featuring duets with Jennifer Lopez and Nelly Furtado, was released on 29 January 2013. On 7 February, Bocelli was an honorary guest at the 61st Annual National Prayer Breakfast, held at the Washington Hilton, where he performed Ombra Mai Fu and Franz Schubert's Ave Maria, in the presence of President Barack Obama, First Lady Michelle Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, as well as other political leaders. On 20 February, he performed at the concert in Moscow Kremlin dedicated to 20th anniversary of Gazprom. On 1 June, Bocelli performed with Placido Domingo at the Arena di Verona, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Opera Festival. 2015 present, Cinema, Collaborations, and C. Bocelli released his 15th studio album Cinema on 23 October 2015. It contains renditions of classic film soundtracks and scores, featuring duets with Ariana Grande, Nicole Scherzinger, and his wife Veronica Berti. The album received a nomination for Best Traditional Pop Vocal Album at the 59th Annual Grammy Awards. The Spanish language version was nominated for Album of the Year at the 17th Annual Latin Grammy Awards. On the 7th of May 2016, Bocelli performed at the King Power Stadium before Leicester City's final match of the 2015-16 Premier League against Everton as part of the club's title celebrations. On the 15th of December 2017, Ed Sheeran released a collaboration with Bocelli titled Perfect Symphony. The song is a duet version of Sheeran's song Perfect, with many of the original English lyrics sung in Italian. In June 2018, Bocelli released the single, If Only, his first after 14 years. On 20 September 2018, Bocelli released the single, Fall on Me, which features vocals from his son Matteo. The two performed the song on the 22nd of October episode of Dancing with the Stars. An English version of the song was released in October and was featured in the Walt Disney Pictures film The Nutcracker and the Four Realms as the end credit song. Both songs appear on Bocelli's album C, released on 26 October 2018. On 12 October 2018, at the request of his close friend Sarah, Duchess of York, Bocelli performed two songs at the royal wedding of her daughter Princess Eugenie, the bar, Guno Ave Maria, and Parnis Angelicus by César Frank. On 1 February 2019, Bocelli performed a sold-out concert in Winter at Tantora Festival running at Al-Ula for the first time in Saudi Arabia. On 3 July 2019 Bocelli performed at the opening ceremony of the 2019 Summer Universiade Day in Naples with three songs includes Fall on Me with his son Matteo. On 12 April 2020, during the national COVID-19 lockdowns in Italy, Bocelli performed an Easter Sunday concert from an empty Milan cathedral, accompanied by cathedral organist Emmanuel Vianelli. The performance, titled, Music for Hope, 
live from Duomo di Milano, was streamed live over YouTube, where it continues to be available for replay. About 5 million people tuned in for the live stream performance and, by the 13th of April 2020, over 32 million views were logged on the archived video. On the 13th of September 2020, Bocelli performed the Italian national anthem at the 2020 Tuscan Grand Prix. November 2020, Bocelli released an album, Believe. It was in response to the COVID pandemic and featured recent pandemic-related songs. He performed Puccini's Ness and Dorma during the opening ceremony of the 2020 UEFA European Football Championship held in Rome, Italy on the 11th of June 2021. Voice Bocelli is a widely popular singer with a substantial fan base worldwide. However, he is also a polarizing figure in classical music, whose voice and performances have routinely been the subject of negative reviews by critics. Italian spinto tenor Franco Corelli praised Bocelli's voice after hearing it for the first time during a master class in 1986, in Turin, and he later gave Bocelli private lessons. Puerto Rican soprano Ana Maria Martinez, who regularly performs with Bocelli, said, more than anything, Andrea has something that is unique in that he brings this light that is always around him. And this purity of heart and beauty of sound just touches the listener. It can't be described, Celine Dion said while introducing him during her Christmas special for these are special times, in 1998, that, if God would have a singing voice, he must sound a lot like Andrea Bocelli, and David Foster, a producer of the album, often describes Bocelli's voice as the most beautiful in the world. Similarly, jazz singer Al Jarro, who performed with Bocelli on the Night of the Proms tour in Europe in 1995, described him as the most beautiful voice in the world, an American talk show host Oprah Winfrey commented on her talk show that, when I hear Andrea sing, I burst into tears. After attending Bocelli's concert at the Hollywood Bowl in 2009, British-American actress Elizabeth Taylor said, my mind, my soul were transported by his beauty, his voice, his inner being. God has kissed this man and I thank God for it. Taylor had been a passionate fan of Bocelli's since the beginning of his music career in the mid-1990s. Other fans include Albert II, Prince of Monaco, who invited the tenor to sing at his wedding, as well as Sarah, Duchess of York, and actress Isabella Rossellini. Bocelli's voice, more specifically his interpretation of opera, has been regularly criticized by classical music critics. These include Bernard Holland of the New York Times and Andrew Clements of The Guardian. In 1999, the New York Times chief music critic Anthony Tomassini in his review of Bocelli's North American Opera debut at the Detroit Opera House in the title role of Massenet's Werther commented, The basic color of Mr. Bocelli's voice is warm and pleasant, but he lacks the technique to support and project his sound. His sustained notes wobble. His soft high notes are painfully weak. Inadequate breath control often forces him to clip off notes prematurely at the end of phrases. In December 2000, Tomassini again criticized Bocelli, this time for his La Boheme album when he stated that Bocelli still has trouble with basic things, like breath support, and his voice had been carefully recorded to help it match the trained voices of the other cast members in fullness and presence. In describing Bocelli's singing, the New York Times music critic Bernard Holland noted, the tone is rasping, thin and, in general, poorly supported. Even the most modest upward movement thins it even more, signaling what appears to be the onset of strangulation. To his credit, Mr. Bocelli sings mostly in tune, but his phrasing tends toward carelessness and rhythmic jumble. The diction is not clear. Furthermore, Holland observed that the critic's duty is to report that Mr. Bocelli is not a very good singer. The Associated Press reported, Passion. Yes. Power. No. Bocelli's voice, though robust in spirit and precisely in tune, even in the upper register, had a thin quality that never opened up. Similarly, classical music critic Andrew Clements found Bocelli's studio opera recordings consistently disappointing in quality, Bocelli's profoundly unmusical contribution, with its unvaryingly coarse tone, wayward intonation and never a phrase properly shaped, fatally undermines all their contributions. Anne Midget of the New York Times agreed, noting, a thinness of voice, oddly anemic phrasing, a curious lack of expression. During a 2009 performance in New York, the music critic Steve Smith wrote, for cognoscenti of vocal artistry the risks involved in Mr. Bocelli's undertakings, both then and now, need no explanation. Substantial technical shortcomings masked by amplification are laid bare in a more conventional classical setting. Mr. Bocelli's tone can be pleasant, and his pitch is generally secure. But his voice is small and not well supported, his phrasing, wayward and oddly inexpressive. In 2010, Joe Bano of the Washington Post gave an unfavorable review of Bocelli's Carmen recording, describing the oft-noted failings in Bocelli's vocal resources on full display in this performance. Bocelli, to be fair, possesses an essentially lovely tenor and knows his stuff when it comes to selling a pop ballad. And Decker's close micking of his puny voice inflates his sound to near Franco Corelli-like dimensions. But his short-breathed, clumsily phrased, interpretively blank and often pinched and strained singing makes his Don Jose a tough listen. Personal life Bocelli met his first wife, Enrica Cenzati, while singing at piano bars early in his career. They were married on 27 June 1992.
Their first child, son Amos, was born the 22nd of February 1995. Their second son, Mateo, was born on the 8th of October 1997. The couple separated in 2002. Bocelli lives with his second wife and manager, Veronica Berti. They met in 2002. In September 2011, the couple announced that Berti was expecting her first and Bocelli's third child, a daughter, in the spring. His daughter Virginia was born the 21st of March 2012. The couple live in Forte de Marmi on the Mediterranean. Bocelli's first wife and two sons live in the couple's previous residence in the same comune, in Versilia. Bocelli married Veronica Berti on 21 March 2014 at the Sanctuary of Montenero in the coastal town of Livorno, Italy. On 30 April 2000, Bocelli's father, Alessandro Bocelli, died. His mother encouraged him to honor his commitments, and so he sang for Pope John Paul II, in Rome, on 1 May, and immediately returned home for the funeral. At his 5 July performance, filmed for PBS's American Dream, Andrea Bocelli's Statue of Liberty concert, Bocelli dedicated the encore Sogno, from his 1999 album Sogno, to the memory of his father. Although he is blind, Bocelli has enjoyed horseback riding for much of his life. A section of the beach in Yesolo, on the Italian Adriatic coast, was named after Bocelli on the 11th of August 2003. In October 2013 Bocelli bought a second home in North Miami Beach. Bocelli is a self-declared fan of Italian soccer club Inter Milan. In an interview in Pisa, he told a group of Inter fans that, my passion for Inter started during my college years, when Inter was winning everything in Italy and the world. When Inter won the Champions League in 2010, I was with my friends and I was listening to the game on the radio, and everything was a little bit in advance so I was celebrating before them. That night I was also brought to tears of joy. The treble is a feeling no one in Italy will be able to equal. Tetro del Silenzio in 2006, Bocelli convinced the municipality of his hometown La Hartico to build an outdoor theater, the Tetro del Silenzio. He serves as its honorary president and performs for one night only, every July. The rest of the year, the theater doesn't operate. Since its opening in 2006, Bocelli has held 12 concerts, every July, with guests including Pathido Domingo, Jose Carreras, Sarah Brightman, Catherine Jenkins, Zuccero, Laura Pausini, and Eliza. Bocelli's guests have also included instrumentalists Lang Lang, Chris Botti, and Kenny G. The 2007 concert was released on CD and DVD in 2008.